Hi, back with King's Star, and today I'm reviewing the book Our Solar System, a level S level book, and we're count 1,766 words. And it's written by Bruce D. Cole Cooper. Cooper. Yep, this is from Reading Agency, I know that. And okay, so the first thing that I will have some bad news for you, but. I'm going to tell you that. Five billion years from now, it's like 5,000 million years from now, the sun will explode. That means all the planets are going to be exploded. And I don't know. But you know things, some things that about five billion years from now, scientists think that Earth, the end of the world, is going to come five billion years from now. That's sad. OMG. But you're not gonna OMG right now. You're gonna OMG five billion years from now. You're not gonna be there. You're gonna be there for ages. Because when you die, you come up, born again, die, come up, born again, die, come up, born again, that's it. Huh? Understand that, right? So our solar system is this. Here. There is the introduction, the sun, uh, and there. You know what? Oh, okay. Saturn, the second largest planet. If there's a swimming pool that could fit big enough to hold it, you know what? Saturn will float. Could you believe that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could. This is so funny. There's something that's so funny. You know Mars, right? Mm -hmm. It's the most similar planet to Earth. You know in summer it's 30 Celsius, right? The only thing that's not same it's the temperature on the winter. Minus 130 Celsius. Um, I don't even think I'm gonna step in the winter for one second and I will die from coldness. One second I think I'm gonna die from that coldness. <laughs> Look how many Fahrenheit. Minus 202 Fahrenheit. I can't believe it. You know what? Sometimes I don't even think that. Here. Saturn, one day of Saturn is 10 and a half hours long. One day, one day on Jupiter is 10 hours long. So, I'm going to tell the turn to lap. Pluto. You just exit out of solar system already. Pluto is a dwarf planet since 2006. So, if you think Pluto's in the solar system, if you hear my words, cut it out. Cause, oh yeah, there's something I wanna show you. How much would you weigh? If you weigh 70 LBS, on Mercury, you will weigh 27 LBS. On Venus, you will weigh 63 LBS. On the Moon, you will weigh 12 LBS. On Mars, you will weigh 27 LBS. On Jupiter, you will weigh 165 LBS. On Saturn, you will weigh 65 LBS. On Uranus, you will weigh 62 LBS. On Neptune, you will weigh 79 LBS. On Pluto, you would weigh 5 LBS. In outer space, you'd weigh nothing. <laughs> I think I spoke too much. I'm gonna have a break. Breathe in. Breathe out. My phone is okay. I just learned that on Wednesday with um a teacher. He is called Mr. Davis. We're not talking about Mr. Davis now, okay? You can learn about him later. He likes Spanish. I also like Spanish. Too. I could talk Spanish a little bit, but it's not Spanish class now, okay? So this is okay, it's about asteroids. So if an asteroid touches the earth without exploding from the atmosphere, it will call a me you call a meteoroid. If it if it burns out before it hits the earth, it is called a meteor. Okay? So comets, yeah. Comets is oh yeah, it's so cool, so cool. Uh, so cool. Anyways, comets is a, like a snowballs in space. So if you're in space and you're a space guy and you see a comet, you just pick it up and throw it at other people. <laughs> that you can't even see comets. You can. Comets, 
some coins will come in in about 9,000 years from 1996. Plus that. 10,000 something. And there is um, one that I think if you are like not high age yet, or you are like a kid like me, you might see this comment. I don't know what this comment is called, but it's going to come in every 76 years, okay? Mm -hmm. So, in the lifetime, you will see this if you live more than 76 years old. Or maybe you can see when you're born. Because it might come, it can come anywhere. You just orbit the sun first and then it will come to the earth and then it goes all around the solar system and comes through some orbit and then come to the earth goes around the solar system comes to the sun and come to the earth well it depends how fast or slow comets are like a comet that comes 76 years it will be like <laughs> risen to the air above our heads right now like charlie <laughs> The television chocolate room. I remember that chapter. It's so funny. Okay, so I don't have any more. So don't forget to check out our channel, Katie Superstar.